So, for example number 2, we will try to analyze a single angle tension member. mag analyze naman tayo. So, uh, given a specific section. So, verify the tensile strength of an ASTM 836 L 102 by 102 by 12.7 with one line of 420 millimeter diameter bolts in standard holes as shown. The member carries a dead load of 90 kilonewton and a live load of 270 kilonewton in tension. Additionally, calculate at what length this tension member would cease to satisfy the recommended standardness limit. Assume that connection limit states do not govern. So for ASTM 836, our yield stress is equal to 250 megapascal and our tensile stress is equal to 400 megapascal. So this is the uh, cross section. We have 20 millimeter diameter bolts in standard holes and our length of connection is 3 at 75 millimeter. Our dead load is 90 kilonewton and our live load is 270 kilonewton so opening your CSI steel application here is the sections or the geometric properties of the member so first we will try to determine the required tensile strength using LRFD or PU is equal to 1.2 dead load plus 1.6 of the live load substituting the two our PU is equal to 540 kN and for ASD our PA is just the sum of the dead load and the live load so 90 plus 270 is equal to 360 kN So we're now proceed to the available tensile yielding strength of this section or of the member. So First, we determine the nominal tensile strength, yielding st uh, the yield stress multiplied by the gross area, 250 newton per millimeter squared, and then the gross area is uh, 2,420 square millimeter. So it will be equal to 605 kilo newton. Multiplying our uh, nominal tensile strength with the factors for LRFD, the resistance factor is 0 0.9 multiplied by 605 equal to 544.5 kilonewton. And comparing it with the required tensile strength it is only 540 kN so okay siya and for our ASD just divide the nominal tensile strength with omega t so dividing it by 1.67 equal to 362.28 kilonewton 
and compare natin siya sa PA which is only 360 kN so which is much greater kaya okay yung number So, we can now proceed to the second one, the available tensile rupture strength of the member or of the section. So, determining the nominal tensile strength, Fu multiplied by Ae. So, determine na naman natin ulit yung shear lag factor niya. So, opening your NSCP, uh, since angle siya, we will consider um, case 2. Where shear lag factor is equal to 1 minus the eccentricity connection. Multi uh, divide by the length of connection and the other one is the case 8 single angles if u is calculated per case 2 the larger value is permitted to be used so we had uh, meron naman tayo dito yung dalawa with 4 or more fasteners per line direction so since uh, 4 yung connection natin Balik lang natin. Ayan. So, for case number 8, single angles, if U is calculated per case 2, the larger value is permitted to be used. With 4 or more fasteners per line in direction of loading, we will use uh, 0 0.8 and with 2 or 3 fasteners per line in direction of loading, we will use 0 0.6. And since apat itong uh, fastener natin, we will use 0 0.8. So, isosolve lang natin yung uh, case number 2 for the comparison. So, let's proceed. And so, the connection of eccentricity x would be equal lang sa ating centroid along y, which is 30 millimeters. So, substitute lang natin. One minus thirty all over three times seventy five as shown. So our shear lag factor for case two is equal to zero point eight six seven. And then yung case eight naman as I've told before, it is equal to zero point eight. Kasi 4 or more fasteners, 0 0.8 daw. So, kukompare natin ng 2. Mas malaki yung case 2. So, we will use 0 0.867 as our shear lag factor. And now, we will determine the net area net area natin uh, ma minus lang natin yung uh, gross area divided by kung ano man yung area na um, area nung bolt ano ah, diameter ng bolt sorry so ag minus isa lang yung ginamit so 20 plus 2 remember bolt plus 2 
multiplied by the thickness of the flange which is uh, 12.7 so our grass area is 2420 square millimeter so our a n now will be equal to so yun lang tatandaan natin uh, if we are using bolt mag a ka lang ng 2 millimeter dun sa diameter ng bolt in determining the net area so our net area is 2140.6 square millimeter so our effective net area would be equal to multiply natin yung shear lag factor kanina 0 0.867 so it would be now equal to 1855.9 square millimeter So, makukuha na natin yung nominal tensile strength, Pn. So, our Fu is 400 newton per millimeter squared and our A is 1855.9. So, our Pn is equal to 742.36 kilo newton. So, for LRFD, mumultiply lang natin siya sa resistance factor na 0 0.75. Kandaan. So, for tensile rupture, 0 0.75. And for the tensile yielding, it's 0 0.9. So, be equal to 556.77 kN. So, under ASD naman, ayan, i-compare natin siya sa PU kanina, which is only 540 kN. Ayan. Okay siya. Satisfy niya. And then, for ASD, the nominal strength divided by the omega T safety factor 2.0 pag tensile rupture, 1.67 pag tensile yielding. So, it would be equal to 371.18 kN. And it is greater than our PA kanina na uh, only yun yung PA natin kanina? 360 kN. So, Masasabi natin na uh, the section is adequate uh, for uh, tensile rupture strength. Ah, uh, for tensile rupture, rather. So, for the recommended maximum length, pinapahanap na kanina, where Iba meron tayong formula na uh, length of the member divided by the radius of variation must be lesser than or equal to 300. So, we will just equate it into 300. Meron tayong radius of variation. So, our radius of variation is uh, 30.83. Uh, sorry, naputol. I-open nyo na lang yung CSI, uh, CSI still application natin. And then, so, um, multiplied natin by 300. So, would be equal to 9,249 millimeter or 9.25 meter. So, ito na yung magiging L max natin. Okay. 